go ahead by pulling up your shirt just a little bit and lowering your waistband down nice and low. We'll just tuck these towels into you just so we don't get any of the gel on your clothes today. We will be using a water-based gel for this ultrasound. So it won't stain or leave anything behind, but will keep you nice and dry. So you can see the heart beating in the center of the chest there. So anything black on ultrasound is fluid. This one up here, this is baby's stomach. And then this one down here is baby's bladder. We want to make sure that the umbilical cord has three vessels in it. So this right here, the blood coming in through the umbilical cord and it goes one way around each side of the bladder that proves that there are two umbilical arteries in this baby's umbilical cord which is great so we like to include from the level of the fetal stomach all the way up through baby's chest into the heart all the way up through baby's heart and past it so this ensures that the stomach and the heart are formed on the correct left side of the baby and that all of the vessels coming in and out of the baby's heart are flowing the correct direction. So at this point in the ultrasound, it's a good, make, good time to make sure that the cervix is closed and nice and long. This is the portion of the exam where we need the mother's bladder to be full so that we can have a good view. here we need to make sure that the placenta the edge of the placenta is far enough away from the internal portion of the cervix that it's not blocking baby's exit at time of delivery oh, there she is <laughs> so we can see all the way around the top of baby's head along the back of baby's head here baby's forehead and we can see the skin overlying it. This right here is baby's nasal bone and we can see the clear skin line covering the um, nasal bone and the nasal tip. These are baby's lips down to baby's chin and then the front of baby's neck and into the chest. So my doctor, the radiologist here, will look at all of the images, they will assess everything and they will get all of the results sent back to your doctor. Your doctor should expect to receive that within the next one to two business days.